Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back to IBA Homestead. My name is Renee and thank you for joining me on the floor of my living room in my pajamas. <laughs> um, today has been a total comfort day. Um, I, we've just been busy this past weekend and most of the end of last week. So today was just a comfort day for us and I thank you for joining me during this comfort day. But a couple months ago, Emmanuel and I went to the Ozark Homesteading Expo. It was our first time there. It was super awesome. Lots of seminars, lots of speakers, um, lots of vendors and businesses and organizations there. And one of the vendors, it was an organization called Zuzu's House. And what Zuzu's House does is they help homeless teenage girls um, by providing them um, a place to sleep and place to stay and if they're in school they get them to and from school if they have a job they get them to and from their work um, if they don't have a job they help them uh, gain the skills that they would need to get a job um, so they just pretty much help these girls get their foot in the world because we all know the world kind of sucks and if you're just able to get on solid ground then you're able to go um, and they help these girls do that but uh, anyway so at their vendor booth they were doing a raffle and Emmanuel bought a couple tickets and I bought a ticket and my ticket ended up winning thankfully um, we were very appreciative of that but uh, I was able to choose from a couple different prizes. Uh, I was able to choose from a, from a deer blind or a little 8x8 eight eight cabin that had a mini split in it. Just big enough to throw a couple cots in or something. Um, you know, take it out to the deer camp or something like that. And Or I was able to choose a uh, chicken coop with $2,000 cash on, on that one. So after thinking about it, the deer blind or the little cabin or the chicken coop with cash, um, we had chose that one because that seemed the best fit for us. Um, so they delivered the chicken coop and um, we were, you know, just last week we had gotten our uh, monetary winnings and uh, just in time for Black Friday. So I wanted to share with y'all an Amazon haul uh, you know, just like people share their grocery hauls or their shopping hauls, I wanted to share the Amazon haul. Full of random items, Christmas gifts for the nieces and nephews and great nieces. Um, can't believe I'm old enough to say that I have great nieces, but I do. And I have a great niece or nephew on the way. Um, and then, so stuff for all the nieces and nephews. Uh, stuff for the camper, um, stuff for the kitchen, and some of it's stuff we needed, and some of it's just some extra fluff stuff that we wanted. Um, but we have been trying to be smart and responsible with our purchases this weekend. Uh, so most of this stuff was on Black Friday sales on Amazon. Um, there were a few items that was not Black Friday sales, but I mean, less than five items were not a Black Friday sale. And I only got it if it really had good reviews. Um, if I felt like even that one bad review may have just been a user error. Maybe that person just wasn't really all there when they were messing with the product or something. Um, so I just try to be smart with my purchases. Anyway, I wanted to share with y'all what we got from Amazon. And um, I have already looked at these boxes because I was looking for something in particular, which was a wireless microphone, which as you can see, it's what I'm using now. So hopefully it sounds good. Um, um, hopefully it's something that will make it easier so I don't have to raise my voice or feel like I'm shouting at the camera all the time. Um, I'm kind of fluffier so I run out of breath really easy. And besides that, just constantly having to raise your voice does hurt your throat. Um, so I did pick up wireless microphones, um, giving that a try on this video. And in this box... Oh, let's see here. I have a white drinking water hose for the camper. Um, a lot of 
videos that I were watching had either white hoses or blue hoses for their fresh water tank. And the fact that it says drinking water hose. And we don't know a whole lot about the camper. We just got the camper a couple months ago. We haven't even gotten to use it. We'll use it in the spring. But, you know, for now, we're just watching videos. And even some of the videos, you know, a person watching these videos would have to discern is this needed item or is this just an extra fluff item um, this I think is a needed item because you want a clean hose for your fresh water tank if you're wanting to drink that water or even if you're just wanting to bathe in it I mean sometimes you don't want gross stuff coming in your water so I bought that and I also bought a water filter to hook up to the hose, hook it up to the camper. Um, that way we don't get any nasty chemicals or any extra um, impurities in the water. Um, I'm pretty sure that we will not be drinking the water in, that will flow through that until after we get a good professional cleaning of all of those tanks in the camper but this was just so good to have because sometimes you don't want that stuff on your skin either um and then for Declan I bought the game Battleship uh he is a little young for this but this is still something that <laughs> buy it for the kid but use it for us for now I think um Emmanuel and I would have fun with this in all honesty but this is just a good game to add to our other stack of games that we have in the living room um and then for one of my older nieces who is nine or ten I bought her a Tamagotchi I can remember having this when I was a kid um and uh, you have to keep your little creature alive and happy and um, the original virtual reality pet. So I thought that she would like that. Um, so that was in that box. Let me try to get all that. Okay, and then in this box here, this one was a needed item. Uh, I bought a new sewer hose for the camper um, that has a clear elbow. So you can see um, after you drain out your black tank, uh, you drain your uh, gray water tank, and you can start seeing when everything runs clear and what have you. Uh, I bought another piece to work with this that's in one of these boxes to help um, really make sure your black water tank is all cleared. Um, so. Let's see, how is this in here? Like that? Yeah. And like I said, I opened all these up earlier, but I had to close them back up so that Declan would not see them. And then in this box here, I bought a Skip It. Um, it's it's off brand though. It says a uh, kids ankle skip ball, and uh, I bought a blue one for Declan and a purple one for my niece. But this has a picture of a pink one. So. Hopefully they didn't so okay. This one is the blue one. So this one is for Declan. Um, I thought that he would like this. You know, get him outside, get him active, things like that. And then I also bought a instant read thermometer. Um ooh. I yeah, yeah, last week or the week prior, I had found Homesteading with the Zimmermans on YouTube. Um, and I and, and I really do like them. But uh, in one of her videos, well, actually in quite a few of her videos, uh, she was making cheese. And I thought, oh, well, that would be something really cool to make. I mean, we, I'm not sure where to find real cheese. Uh, when I go to 
the cheese section in Aldi. I'm overwhelmed because I don't know what half this stuff is. But we, we really would like to switch from buying sliced cheese at the grocery store to, like, having real cheese. Um, you know, the the craft cheese or even the always save or what have, have you. I mean, it it has plastic in it, I'm pretty sure. Because that always save cheese, you, you stick a lighter to it and we've done it. It doesn't melt. It goes black and hard like, like plastic. So, we would like to eventually try to learn to make our cheese. But besides that, this would come in handy just for kitchen use in general. Um, another kitchen item, a manual did request a chain link uh, cast iron scrubber. So uh, we, that was weird. Sorry, I thought I saw a movement like outside the window. Um, anyway, so I bought this because he wanted something, um, he wanted this chain link scrubber for the cast iron. So, and then I have two, uh, pairs of walkie-talkies, one for Declan and one for one of our nephews. Um, so I think that will be fun. I have also, uh... I have been wanting this for a while. It's an electronic uh, mason jar vacuum sealer. Um, so you can do uh, regular mouth lids or wide mouth lids with this based off of which attachment you use. Um, I always thought you had to have this big thing that plugs into a food saver vacuum sealer or something like that, which is why I kind of got a food saver a couple months ago at an auction um but after looking on amazon you don't need one of those anymore um we always heard people attach their you know plugged it into the food saver and vacuum sealed all their jars and in my mind i thought there's got to be an easier way than bringing out this huge food saver just to attach this little accessory to it and there was you know usually when i come what I think of in my head, you know, somewhere out there, it's got to be. <laughs> um, and then I did get a uh, surge protector for the camper. Um, a lot of the videos we've seen on YouTube said, yes, get these. And I am even a part of a camper group on Facebook. And I have heard hor horror stories and seen pictures of um, the electric plug at a campground or a campsite not being good and so unplug their camper into it and it ends up frying their camper cord or their plug-in for their camper. So definitely um, wanted one of these uh, because you plug this into your electric source and then it'll tell you if it's good or bad and then you plug your camper into the uh, hanging part of this. So definitely wanted one of those and I got uh, silicone trays for our dehydrator uh, we have talked about trying um, to dehydrate you know more liquidy things things like eggs um, Emmanuel wants to try to dehydrate milk uh, and I would like to um, make like homemade fruit roll-ups or homemade fruit jerky uh, so, to have the silicone trays would definitely come in handy for all that. Let's get this all switched over. Did I look in this one? Yes. No, I have not looked in this one. I was just reviewing the footage and realized that I did not show y'all this one. So, let's get into this one. Um... In this box, I have a Rhino Blaster, which is the uh, attachment that I was telling y'all about that hooks up to the brown sewer hose so that you can back flush into your uh, black water tank. Um, like, after you already empty it and you empty out your gray water, then you hook a hose up to this one. Um, not your white drinking hose. You would hook up a different hose. Um, a black hose or I'm going to try to look for a hose at a yard sale, honestly, and then we'll know that the white one is for drinking and then the other one is for uh, messing with the uh, 
water holding tanks, whether it be black or gray. But anyway, you hook a hose up to here and it shoots water back up into your black tank. And then you empty it out again. That way, you know, you're really making sure that you're getting that pretty clean. Uh, and then uh, for one of my great nieces, I bought this um, more simplified version of Perfection. Um, it only has nine... Uh, puzzle pieces that you have to put in there during the, um, you know, time. Uh, I have a more complicated, I, I would say the regular version of Perfection for Declan wrapped up over here. Um, but my great niece, she is, um, uh, almost three or, um, just freshly turned three. So I think this would be better for her. It's a little more simplified version. She would only have to match up nine pieces. Um, and then I know, and I saw this after I had already paid for everything, I know I bought one of these for Declan, but somehow um, Amazon had me marked down for two. I didn't realize that till after I had already checked out. So one of these Guess Who games will be for Declan, and I think at one time I had two in there. I, I, I thought I'd... Uh, change the quantity to one, um, but I was going to get this for one of my nephews, but I ended up getting him the walkie-talkies instead, so now I have to try to remember if I was going to intend this to be for somebody else, or maybe I just find a new kid for that, um, so anyway, we got two Guess Who games, one of them is for Declan. <laughs> And then I also got a um, KitchenAid meat grinder attachment for our KitchenAid uh, countertop mixer. Um, I have been cutting up deer for like, it seems like forever because I'm so slow at it. Um, I'm not that practiced, so I take forever. So it seems like I've been cutting it for forever, but I've been cutting up deer for a couple days now. And I already knew a lot of it was going to be stew meat. The rest of it was pretty much mostly going to be grind because I'm not interested in roasts. I do love backstrap, but my deer that I shot the other week that we had processed, um, we didn't get any backstrap from that one. No, I lie. We got a little bit of backstrap from that one. Um, I had realized that was the backstrap piece. But then we were blessed with another deer last week. Um, someone had shot and just gave us the deer. So um, we went ahead and processed that one with my stepdad's help. And I definitely got backstrap from that one. But the rest of it was just stew meat and grind because I can make those go farther than I could a roast or something. Um, so anyway, I needed to be able to grind up meat instead of waiting for my parents to get all their stuff situated and pull out their big old grinder. I can do it myself now. So I bought a KitchenAid meat grinder attachment. Um, now that is the end of that box. Proceed with the video. So I think that was it. I think that was everything that came in today. I do have a list of a few other items I ordered on Amazon with all this stuff that will come in on Wednesday. Today is Monday. So I also ordered an RV water pressure gauge. Um, one of the video, oh, maybe two of them, but there were some videos I had watched on YouTube where they were talking about um, various uh Water spigots at, you know, like newer campgrounds might have better water pressure and sometimes it's too much for your camper. So there was a couple of videos that did recommend a water pressure gauge. So I went ahead and got those, um, or got one. And then I got a uh, RV sewer hose support. Uh, the big brown hose I showed you. It, it allows the hose to kind of Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of the word. Angles it down, um, kind of, uh, so that everything gets really flushed out of it. Um, anyway, I'll post a picture up so that y'all can see what I'm talking about. I'm having such a brain fog right now. Um, I did get a RV gooseneck support tripod. 
uh, I have heard that if you have so much stuff piled on, um, on the overhang part of your fifth wheel, that you can uh, put uh, stress on certain joints and certain pieces, and uh, it'll, it'll start sagging sometimes, I guess. And I... I bought that because I can remember my Nana and Papa having one for their fifth wheel. Uh, so I thought if it was good enough for Nana and Papa, it'll be good enough for us. Um, I did buy a kid's book. Um, I don't remember the exact name of it. I'll go ahead and post a picture uh, on on the video on one of the sides of me. Um, but it was questions about God. Uh, Declan has had some questions about God. Um that I couldn't quite answer because, you know, I'm still new in my walk with God, pretty much. Uh, and even back in the spring, my niece down in Louisiana had a question, and I tried to answer it as best as I could, but, uh, you know, because I'm there's, there's just certain things that I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so I just got a book because even sometimes I have questions. Um, and then I got a cheese press. Um, so that should be coming in on Wednesday. Like I said, I want to try to learn how to make cheese. Um, you know, just so we can have homemade cheese. I, I, I think that would taste wonderful. Um, so that was everything from Amazon. But I did, uh, spend some money at other websites. I went to Bootstrap Farmer, um, and spent a around a hundred ish dollars um on some black seed trays and I bought some bright colored uh seed pots some some two and a half inch starting pots uh Jill from Whispering Willow Farm uh collaborated with Bootstrap Farmer again for some different colors for seed pots uh more neutral colors I guess you would be you would say so I got a bundle of them and a bundle of the brightly colored ones like pastel Easter colors purple green orange pink uh, maybe yellow um so I wanted the bright colors and I wanted the colors that Jill came up with uh we bought a bundle or two of uh little two and a half inch pots from the Oki Homestead from her um back in 2022 so I thought that you know it'd be really neat to get her second collaboration colors or what have you um and then I bought I paid for a year-long subscription of one of our streaming services um I paid around a hundred dollars for a new 32 inch smart tv which I know is an extravagant purpose purchase but the tv up there the sound, um, the, the speakers are shot, so I brought in this TV, and this TV is old, doesn't have a remote, neither of these TVs have a remote, um, and then this bigger one here on, on top of the mantel, uh, the wiring on the buttons is going bad, so a lot of times we'll try to change the volume, and the wiring will shut off, or, or, or I mean the TV will shut off or it will change channels or it will change input. Um, and we have another TV in our bedroom that we, we don't even really use. But no matter which TV we have, good or bad, we like to watch things like YouTube or on streaming channels. But because none of our TVs are smart TVs, we always have to plug in our computer. So we have to switch the HDMI over from the Blu-ray into the computer. And sometimes if this fire is going hot while you're doing that, you're burning your leg. And so I thought, let's just go ahead and get a new smart TV. Um and I went over to the Vever website or the Viver website. It is V E V O R. And I bought uh, one of their bigger chicken pluckers and I bought a manual pasta maker. And I spent around 520 ish dollars over there. And then at Tractor Supply, um, today Emmanuel bought five rolls of welded uh, wire fencing. Um, a hundred foot rolls. Um, so, and those were on, uh, sale. They were like $10 off a roll. They were like 98 bucks. 
98 bucks a roll. So we spent about 500-ish dollars there. And that was pretty much all of the 2000. Um, there's, you know, one or 200 left over. Um, cause there were some other purchases we had made, but there was some money left over. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and set that to the side and buy a gas stove for the kitchen. We currently have an electric stove, but we'd like to switch it over to a gas stove. And I have looked all over Facebook Marketplace, and the only decent pricing stove, or what I call decent, you know, something that I would be willing to pay, are in the more populated areas like Springfield or Rolla. Well, I'm, I'm not going an hour, hour and a half just to go buy a stove. So we're just going to keep an eye out local for a gas stove that is around $200. Um, sometimes every now and then, uh, at the auction that we like to go to, uh, there will be gas stoves, um, of good quality. So I'll go ahead and keep my eye out for one over there. And, uh, we're just waiting to see what will come along, but, uh, I really don't want to overpay for a used gas stove. I think around 200 bucks is a decent price. Now, granted, I know there's like really expensive gas stoves and really lower end gas stoves, but I think $200 for a used gas stove is a good price. Anyway, so that was our shopping haul from Amazon and um, some other things that I've bought that haven't come in yet. So, yeah, just, uh, I don't know, trying to be smart and use this money wisely. Um, I did look at, uh, Zuzu House website, and they said they earned eighty three hundred dollars from the raffle. So that is awesome. Hopefully, they were able to meet any goal that they had for that money. Um, but just appreciative of these blessings. So thank y'all for spending some time with me as I share my shopping haul, and thank y'all for spending time with me today as I share my shopping haul. Um, this was the most money I've ever gotten to spend. I got nervous on Amazon. Um, I had the chicken plucker on Amazon. Uh, it was the Vever brand. It was like up to a thousand bucks and I took it off because I thought there is no way my bank is going to think this is truly me buying these things because I have never spent this much money in my life. Um, so it, it, it was super weird um, having that amount of items in my Amazon shopping cart. <laughs> it was super weird, but uh, thank y'all for spending time with me today. Um, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye. This is the chicken coop that we won in a raffle at Ozark Homesteading Expo. It can house 15 chickens, but I don't think we'll ever have 15 in here. Um, it has four nesting boxes. It has a big white door down there that you can lift up to clean out any bedding. It's got a smaller door to just let chickens in and out. It has two windows that you can open and close. Um, Emmanuel did build a shelf right here to catch um, all of their droppings. Uh, just because sometimes in the winter time, we leave the chickens in their coops, so we wanted to make sure that the couple of chickens we had in here had plenty of room to do what they wanted to do without having to step in all their mess. So, we kind of altered it a little. We got dirt piled up right in front of that door, but we can lift up this to collect any eggs that they lay. We are going to extend, uh, the run all the way down there and around what used to be the market row garden and this area what used to be the raised bed garden will just be for speckled sussex and the area that used to be the market row garden will be for turkeys so we bought five rolls of this welded wire fencing um it seemed a bit budget friendly a bit more budget friendly than buying uh, cow panels and such. Pretty much we just need to keep them in their runs. We don't deal with predators a whole lot except for the neighbor dogs out that way, but we haven't had a run in with them in about a year and a half. So 
We got five rolls of that to put around all these bird areas and around the garden area over there. So that was some of our winnings from the raffle.